Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to access the BIOS using the settings on Windows 10. Now, if you need to get into the BIOS, you can do it from your desktop here, and I'll show you how to do it to get into Windows 10. Uh, it's a very short, quick video. So go to Start, and then go to Settings, and then go to your Update and Security tab here. Inside here, look for uh, the Recovery button on the left. Once you hit this, you want to look for Advanced Startup, and it will say Restart Now. So what you want to do is click on Restart Now, and this will restart the PC. You're probably going to see something looking just like this, saying choose an option. You want to come down to where it says troubleshoot, hit troubleshoot, and then come down to where it says advanced options in the troubleshooting window. So hit this. And then once you're in the advanced options area, you're looking for UEFI firmware settings, change settings in your PC, uh, PC UEFI firmware. So click on this and it will give you UEFI firmware settings. Click restart and it will take you straight into your BIOS where you can make changes to your BIOS, whether it will be changing the boot order or whether it will be uh, other things that you need to do inside here. You don't really need to enter the BIOS unless you really have to to do a certain particular task. Other than that, you don't really need to enter here. The reason why I'm making this video is because quite a few people on our Discord server have to get into the BIOS and they don't know how to. So hopefully this video will help them uh, get to the BIOS a lot quicker and easier. Like I said, it's a pretty simple and easy thing to do. And this is for the UEFI BIOS uh, to enter that way. Now, there is other ways to get into the BIOS, and I'll quickly cover those just so you know how to get to the BIOS. When someone says at the beginning of boot up, you'll see a little splash screen, and basically you need to tap on a certain key. I'll show you what I mean right now. So when you boot up your PC, you should see something like this, whether it would be Gigabyte, MSI, Dell, Asus, Lenovo, any one of those, as you can see here on the screen. You'll see at the bottom, it tells you Dell is for the BIOS setup and, and QFlash. Also, F9 is for system information. F12 is for boot menu and end is for QFlash. Now, on the screen here, you're going to see some other options available. And these are for the different brands of computer. So if you've got a Dell, it would be F2 or F12 to enter the BIOS. HP, Escape or F10. Acer is F2 or Delete. Asus is F2 or delete. Lenovo is F1 or F2. MSI is the delete key and Toshiba is F2. So that is to get into the BIOS with different versions of computer. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. You can use either one of these methods and they should work and that should get you to the BIOS where you can do all your necessary changes. Now also, I just wanna say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. Have a lovely Christmas. And uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Now, if you haven't joined our Discord server yet, we did some giveaways on here last night, so you probably missed out on those, but we will be doing some more. You can enter the uh, Discord server for free. It's got some chat on here. You can get some PC support. And there's a giveaway section here. I'll make announcements every now and again, but we had five lucky winners last night and... Uh, it was a pretty good turnout for an unpublicized sort of giveaway, really. So I hope to see you on the Discord server. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.